Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkBook 16, the Gen 6 Intel version. I'm gonna show you how to open it up, access your solid state drives. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have a total of nine screws. These four along this edge here, these screws actually come out. The rest of the screws, these three on top and these two in the middle, those screws are gonna stay in the bottom case even though they've been unscrewed from the, the threading. After that, I found it easiest to use my pry tool and start from the back and pry this edge up first and then work my way down the sides towards the front. I recommend a plastic pry tool because metal will tend to scratch this case a bit more. Go all the way around and if you get stuck in one spot, just leave it to go to the other side and pry it up from this seam right here. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer you're working on. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, ThinkBook 16, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll take you to a list of all those replacement upgrade parts, as well as the tools and supplies you may need to work on this computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, you want to at least unplug your battery first. It makes the computer safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right there. It's held in by five screws. You got these three on top, these two near the bottom corners. And after you remove those screws, it plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as with any cables in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the cables when at all possible. Manipulate just the plug if you can. So this one didn't have very large grips. You can try to use a pair of pliers to grab it, but you may have to grip those wires very, very securely. Try to get as much of your finger on, on the black plug as you can and gently, slowly wiggle that out to get that out. Now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. In this computer, you have two solid state drive M.2 ports. You'll see this one unused here toward the right of my screen. It goes down and screws in here next to the speaker. And then most of you will have one here. This one kind of at an angle near the fan. Uh, most of you will have this stock in the computer and you'll have the 2242 version, this shorter solid state drive there and they use an extender an extender metal bracket to screw down here so to remove these again you would just remove that single screw this would come out of the port same thing here um, and if you guys want to upgrade to the 2280s um, the larger solid state drives this computer supports gen 4 solid state drives so most of you will have a 256 gigabyte uh, 2242 drive in here like you see in this picture so below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts, I'll try to include a 256 gigabyte 2242 drive in case you guys just want to replace yours. But if you do want to upgrade, I'll also include several options for the larger 2280s. I'll include a 500 gigabyte, um, a, a terabyte option for those of you that want to upgrade. I guess the last thing to shout out about this operation is if you are installing a new solid state drive, you're probably gonna have to install a new version of an operating system on it in order to use your computer. Uh, there'll be two video links below in the description. One, I'll show you how to install Windows 10 for free. And the other one, I'll show you how to install Windows 11 for free. So whichever one you want, I'll have both links below in the description. But that's the video. This is how you access your solid state drives in this model computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. 
And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.